A chapter that recorded for history the story of a changing world has come to an end. Jawaharlal Nehru is dead. The man who became the first prime minister of the country he led along the road to independence has succumbed to a heart attack after suffering a stroke earlier this year. These are the last pictures of the prime minister made just a month before his death. He was conferring with Sheikh Abdullah, a figure long involved in India's dispute with Pakistan over Kashmir. Mr. Nehru, as a young man, acquired a political acumen that complemented the spiritual appeal of that architect of India's freedom, Mohandas Gandhi. He had been educated in England and at first followed the career of a conservative lawyer. He first met Gandhi in 1916 and was quickly converted to the Mahatma's campaign for an independent India. Nehru spent 13 years in jail for his beliefs, but the sweet fruits of victory were harvested in 1947 when he met with Lord Louis Mountbatten to work out details for an India free of British rule. The nation's day of independence in August of 1947 was the great milestone in his life. He became prime minister and was to serve for 17 years. Mr. Nehru made his first visit to the United States in 1949 and was greeted by President Truman, the first of three U.S. presidents he was to look upon as friends. He was the leader of the neutralist bloc in world affairs, but his receptions in the West, like this one in New York, were always warm. When the Red Chinese invaded Indian territory in 1962, Nehru moved his country more and more into the Western camp. President Eisenhower visited India in 1960, and Nehru returned the visit. This was on the eve of numerous troubles that were to plague his regime. He sought help in his dispute with Pakistan and later returned to hold a series of conferences with President Kennedy. His image as a man of peace was tarnished when India invaded Portuguese Goa, but he stayed at the helm through his crippling illness until death. India mourns. Hundreds of thousands pay final tribute to the man who spent his life in a dedicated struggle. History will put into perspective the man who took up Gandhi's torch, that man of modern India, Jawaharlal Nehru.